I will cut and go to the other angle so that we see you fall with light in the background. Yes, that's the way I'll that's the way I'll the wrist falling. Uh, I'm Mike Bergunder and I uh, play Henry Beck in Henry Beck and the Dagger of Fate. I play Hannah in Henry Beck and the Dagger of Fate and my character, her father, just got kidnapped and she doesn't know where he is. Um, well, she thinks he's kidnapped. It's reported that he committed suicide and it's quite the mystery, so she goes on a search to find him. Henry is a, an assistant professor at a, a college and uh, he's kind of spent his whole life uh, learning about the occult and um, it comes from something that happened in his past. Episode one, uh, that was the first time I ever shot a pu being punched. Like I got punched in the face uh, or stunt punched. So, uh, and it looks pretty real and it was really fun to just figure out how to do that and how to make it look real. So I go, whoa, whoa, hey, let's, let's talk about this. And oh, right. He talks about you. Okay, then I go, oh my home. God. I also, I realized in, in shooting Henry Beck that I really like playing a tough chick because uh, I got a lot of fun out of, uh, in episode one, taking the letter opener and and like putting it against um, Henry's Henry's neck. It was, like I just felt like. Uh, the first time I meet her, she's tied me up and uh, knocked me out. So um, that kind of sets up how our relationship goes throughout the series. Uh, but it was a lot of fun and, uh, um, very scary for Henry. So. Yeah, and then actually, because you can put the pressure more on your hand than yeah. the knife. So then when I'm pushing him back, it's more like I'm not, I'm barely even touching him with the knife. That might work better, right? Like, so you can even grab him like right here. Maybe you like, should use Jeff's hand so you can, you can't tell if it. <laughs> it's just big. And also, oh, I don't when really she's know. revealed, it's Jeff's our hand double. <laughs> For episode one was super fun to shoot because that was the first time I got to work with uh, a special effects makeup artist and she she created this creature uh, called an eyeless where you the she made skin that went over top of the character's eyes and they wear these old school goggles um, on top and so when the goggles fall off you see these creepy eyes. And what a lot of people don't know is that it takes a long time to do it. So our stew was actually in the makeup chair for about six hours, getting this, getting this makeup put over his eyes. It's actually quite fascinating, and he totally played the character awesome. Probably, I think that one of the most memorable or comedic moments was uh, the end of episode one, when uh, I'm attacked by the eyeless, and uh, my reaction is to grab an hourglass instead of the uh, the knife that's sitting on the, the table, or the letter opener, sorry. And um, we kind of do this zoom in, and it's a, an homage to uh, Quantum Leap, where I, I say, oh boy. And uh, yeah, that was probably the funniest part of episode one that I, I still laugh about. And I say, but, it's not big. I have Malcolm's journal. What? Yeah. He sent it to me. And I'm, not, and I'm not leaving here until I find out what happened to him. Okay, and then I give you a look. Yeah. It also was the first time I didn't get to meet my co-star, Mike, until the first shoot. So that was really cool just to to meet him. And we hit it off right off the bat and we immediately had developed this awkward but funny relationship. <laughs>